This is Nick with Build Brothers Roofing. Started my digital inspection at 3421 Doncota to arrive out here in Carlsbad on top of an architectural shingle roof. We can see all the fiberglass that is showing through. That's all that shiny stuff. So something I noticed right off the bat, and essentially what's happening is the oils on this, this shingle product have started to evaporate and the granules have completely started to deplete. Uh, once that starts to happen, the fiberglass is exposed. That's what all that shiny stuff is and the waterproofing is now greatly affected. Um, and this is a telltale sign that the product has gone past its life expectancy. Although when the fiberglass exposure is this bad, uh, it means that this roof should have been replaced, you know, at least five years ago at this point. We've got a ton of leaks that are coming around, a bunch of repairs that have been uh, have been done on this roof as well some of them fresh some of them super old you can see some of the fresh mastic that was used to kind of um, stop a few leaks from happening we have an area we have a problem area right here where this roof transitions into another roof plane uh, you can see that water ends up ponding in this valley and a lot of times it's going to probably end up getting stuck um, because we have this this little piece of metal here that's here that's there to kind of divert water but it looks like it's just causing water to and really just end up sitting in that area so we'll end up getting rid of that but this area needs to be redone no matter what uh, what i want to do is get rid of this 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 valley material which is the torch job modified bitumen material i want to replace that with a tpl material it's a bit of an upgraded material uh, but it is highly highly waterproof and essentially what's going to do is turn this entire valley into one singular membrane uh, which will make it extremely waterproof so we we can have a, a pool of water sitting on this valley for you know for quite some time and it won't end up penetrating the roof that material will go all the way up to this portion uh, underneath the shingle and then the shingle will go right on top of it the shingle does need to be replaced so fortunately we are in owens corning preferred contractor so this roof will be an Owens Corning product um, we're gonna go ahead and tear this roof down to the wood decking it looks like there are two at least two layers of shingles that are on this roof we're gonna tear it down to the wood decking to address any kind of wood issues that might be underneath it um, once we tear this product down to the wood decking we are gonna replace the current underlayment which is a felt underlayment with a synthetic underlayment the synthetic underlayment is part of the 50-year roofing system with Owens Corning so that means that this roof will come with a 50-year warranty from Owens Corning, and then you will also get a 10-year workmanship warranty directly from us. Owens Corning also backs that workmanship warranty because we are a preferred contractor with them. Um, once we tear this down to the wood decking, like I said, we will add that synthetic underlayment. We're gonna go ahead and reflash each and every one of these penetrations to make, to make sure that everything is extremely waterproof. We'll go ahead and paint uh, these penetrations as well to match whatever color we end up going with on the uh, on the roofing shingle as well. But yeah, in my, in my professional opinion, this roof definitely definitely needs to be replaced. One other area that I did want to point out, uh, we got an area right here where every time it rains, water water ends up pouring down this section right onto the window that's underneath it. That one right there. And I think a lot of it has to do with the fact that there are multiple layers on this roof. But then we also have this. Um, uh, uh, this piece of metal, which is kind of acting like a fascia, piece of fascia board. Um, so my suggestion is to get rid of that piece of metal. It looks to me that every uh, every property that's had their roof redone has gotten rid of that metal board. Um, and I think one of the big reasons is that it allows the roofers to add the brand new drip edge because that's what we want to, uh, we want to add that on this product to help protect the property itself. And at this point, I feel like that piece of metal is doing more bad than good. So I would like to get rid of that altogether. I'll talk to the owner about that as well, but we will be adding brand new drip edge to this property. Um, starter shingle is gonna go along the entire perimeter of the of the roof there's a big soft spot right there uh, and then the new roofing shingle will go right on top of that along with the tpo going right in there in that valley to ensure that this roof will last you know another 30 to 35 years after that that's it for my inspection